So at that time, Prophet Sallallahu said, do not tell the person to say La ilaha illallah. Hmm? You're putting a lot of pressure on the person. Leave him alone. Let him go peacefully. But what you should do, standing near the dying person, Rasulullah Sallallahu said, Laqinu mawtakum bila ilaha illallah. Start saying slow, audible voice, the way that the, just, that the person who's dying can just be able to listen to it. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. So the dying person, he would hear those words and he might say that in his, on his tongue or in his heart. The best recitation you can do in front of the dying person is in a slow, audible voice that the person can listen to it, not loud that we are putting some pressure on the person or inconveniencing him or her, but say, Astaghfirullah alladhi la ilaha illallah Astaghfirullah alladhi la ilaha illallah wal hayyul qayyumu atubi ilayhi. Because in this, there are both the things. One is forgiveness from Allah, asking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the kalima also comes, la ilaha illallah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, recite Suratul Yaseen in front of a dying person. Because Suratul Yaseen, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, is the heart of the Quran. When you recite this, everything has a heart, and the heart of the Quran is Suratul Yaseen, said Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So when you recite Suratul Yaseen in front of a dying person, it gives strength to the heart of the dying person. 